A lot, a lot of talents come out of Ohio, especially Cincinnati. Like people don't wow. realize, cats from there. George Clooney's from there. Wow. Isley Brothers are from there. Bootsy Boy, Collins is from there. Mm. So we got we got some talent that's come out of that area. Josh Hutcherson from The Hunger Games. Yeah, from there. yeah. We got some talent come out of there. Woody Harrelson. Wow. So we got people Man, that got come people. out of there. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I think you hilarious. So I was like, man, this dude right here, man, he did a podcast. I'm like, this dude know the game. Because I try to tell everybody, y'all need to do a podcast. It's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's money. <laughs> it's money, but it's fun, too. To talk. I'm a talker. So yeah. I guess that, that might be my thing. But I'm going to give it to you, Mr. Maker. So yeah. I like to get into your background. So uh -huh. you were born and raised Ohio? Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Yeah. Okay, what was it like? Because every time I hear about Ohio, I'm like, it's country. There's nothing to do out there. Tell me about Ohio. Well, according to Donald Trump, we eat dogs <laughs> and cats. <laughs> That's the latest I heard. Yeah. I what? So... I don't know. Ohio's cool though. A lot, a lot of talents come out of Ohio, especially Cincinnati. Like people don't wow. realize, cats from there, George Clooney's from there. Wow. Isley Brothers are from there. Bootsy Boy, Collins is from there. Mm. So we got we got some talent that's come out of that area. Josh Hutcherson from The Hunger Games. Yeah, from there. yeah. We got some talent come out of there. Woody Harrelson. Wow. So we got people Man, that got come people. out of there. But, you know I, I mean? but you won't know it until you start saying it. Yeah. You don't just know. Like, I know, right? <laughs> you like just blew my mind. I'm like, I know all these people, but yeah. I did not. Cause I always say, and I think, my, who do we, I think uh, uh, my boy, he just moved up there. Um, Pac-Man Jones, mm. he's somewhere up there too. Yeah, yeah he, didn't, he never left. He, when he, the Bengals got him after he was going through all his stuff, right. and then he kind of he stayed up there, straightened up a little bit. Yeah, a, little bit a little bit, a little that bit. That comes with age. He's still a wild boy. <laughs> <laughs> that comes with age. Like, you know, for if you if you really dive into some of these athletes or people that didn't have the most structured home life. You gotta give them a little leeway till they hit twenty five. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, especially yeah. for boys. Yeah, man. yeah. Twenty five, man. Everything should be like almost like a a, a Trump awakening. car, like not Donald Trump. But I mean, when you're playing, <laughs> when you're playing cars, like look, let this guy slide a little bit. You know, I, be, I bet you, if you, I bet you. I don't want to go dark, but if you look in prison. I bet you nine percent of people there did all they shit before they was twenty five. Oh yeah, no, most definitely, mm -hmm. most yeah. definitely. People be trying to find their way, and men it take yep. us a little longer to get it together. Yep. And they, I think they abuse us early. You know what I'm saying? But we be <laughs> abusive, you know, when it comes mm -hmm. to our own life and what we mm -hmm. do. So same with the military. You don't see them going to recruit thirty year old. No, men. they don't want us. They want Once the young dudes. They can influence. <laughs> yeah. So you get like to thirty that. and you still a knucklehead and you're not doing right. Yeah, then you gotta what? let them go. You gotta <laughs> yeah. let them go. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> that, that ain't the one for you. You gotta let that go. But it's all my out there, it's some 50 year olds that get out still, still doing their thing like they 30, mm -hmm. 25. So you just never know, maturity comes different ways. <laughs> yeah, fact. let's get it. So, um, were you raised with your mom and dad in the same household? Nope. Well, no, for a little bit, I, I've seen that, right? No, I don't remember. <laughs> they they kind of my mom got pregnant in high school, okay, and then back then, from what I hear, you just get married. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, so I guess yeah. they got. I guess they got married, <laughs> and then they was never really together though, because my dad went in the navy, and he immediately left overseas. So he was like in the Philippines. So I'm sure I got some half brothers and sisters over there. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You know, Back you in those do. days, I bet you there's some guy killing karaoke, <laughs> cracking people up right now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so there's there's not a doubt. And then uh, say. So I don't know. I guess they got married. I don't know. So Heard he didn't come versions. back. He came back and they were together. Nah, I, I, the rumor I heard was my dad got kind of kicked out of the Navy. And then instead of flying back to San Diego where me and my mom was, he flew back to Ohio. Mm. So then, that, that you know how you don't have a lot of memories for your four? Right. Like, right. I, I don't it, have any at all. The only memory I have is I know me and my mom drove from San Diego back to Cincinnati. And I was three. And I remember there was a balloon in the car. We had a Volkswagen Bug. I just remember seeing this balloon the whole time. And then wow. that, that song um, by the Steve Miller band, uh, Fly Like an Eagle. Fly yeah, 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 yeah. Eagle. Yeah. I remember hearing that and then stopping at, we had to be in Arizona or New Mexico or something. I remember there was a big cliff and there was totem poles and I saw some Indian artifacts. <laughs> And that's all. That's my only memory of three. Wow! And, uh, no, I, like, I, I, I said, "Mom, did we drive 
You can remember that. San Diego to Ohio. She she was, yeah, that, and we guys are, we was in like a Volkswagen Bug, right? Wow. Was, yeah. Wow. So I was like, I know it's a valid memory. Yeah, yeah. It's but real. It's a memory. It's a but, memory. But, I can't believe that. I know it's because my daddy didn't come home. <laughs> oh, damn, <laughs> man. I'm sure my mom was crying. I didn't remember that. That motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> no nah, man, it was the good old days though. Yeah. Back then, when you had a road trip, it was a real road trip. Now you yeah. know it's different. Mm -hmm. The air conditioners working and everything. Back then, some cars didn't have AC. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know how we done it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, facts. facts. <laughs> I don't even know how we done it. Yeah. The heat here, yeah, the heat here is crazy. I don't know how we done it. I'm yeah. telling you, it was the same. People was a little bit different back then. It was conditioned differently. Think yeah, it was about different. That. Our bodies was different. Yeah, everything. I, she seen a, somebody with a, a, a 12 gauge in the back window. I said, that's the yeah, way we done it back car, in the day. I saw oh, that. Wow. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'd be in the back window just yeah. alone. That's the way country dudes well, I've been always in, done. I've been in Jamaica. That's where she's from. And I remember when the first time I ever went, I flew in, uh, um, Montego, flew in Montego Bay. Bay, but I was going to Ocho Rio. Okay. Uh -huh. I remember the, the driver just kept driving. I remember we would look down these roads and there'd be kids just shoes off. Yeah. Yeah. Road. yeah. Right around. You'd still see the clothes on the hangers. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's old school. I, I love like, it. That's but real. I asked the guy, I said, do you, I was asking my driver, I was asking him a hundred questions on the way because it was like an hour, hour and a half drive. And then yeah. uh, he kept telling me like, he was so happy, but he didn't have half the stuff as far as we that's, have. That's and right. He was like, I go, you don't ever go to the States? He goes, I've been to Miami and New York. And he goes, ah, I'm good. It's yeah. too busy for me. I was like, <laughs> yeah. really? Yeah. So it's yeah. a different lifestyle. So I'm, I look, then I started looking like, are the kids happy? And they was, everybody's smiling. Yeah. yeah. It was like out of a movie though. Like the literally was a soccer ball. Bro. Like, oh, this is just like a movie. I went over there with her the last time we was there. Her mother's moved over to the States and, and uh, we was going to get like uh, some money out of the bank. But in Jamaica, ten thousand yeah. or something crazy, and I said, "We're not doing that." I said, "I don't know these bank people, but they probably know somebody." It was my mom's bank account. It was her mom's bank account. We try to get our money out and bring it to the at uh, one time. Yeah, yeah. you should have made ten trips. <laughs> <laughs> made 10 trips. <laughs> I was like, "No, nah, we're not doing that." Then I tell you, yeah. I'm like, "We're not doing that." I don't know who these people gonna call. I don't know yeah. what's going on, but they took. Uh, they allegedly took how much was it? You saying both money? Yeah, because they charge you. They charge you to get the money out. Oh but hell no! To, um, um, to make like a different man, wire it over to her yeah, other account and it's stuff like that. Bro. But if you were born and raised a certain way, like I tell people all the time, the, the thing that blew my mind here when I first came here, growing up at like Christmas time is my best time, right? I love mm -hmm. Christmas in Jamaica. We have it from October. But I was used to okay, your mom buy you one gift, your, or your parents buy you a gift, your, your friend buy you a gift, and so forth. But here is like, oh, your mom and dad buy you 10, 20 gifts, mm -hmm. and then you have to have all these gifts piled up under the Christmas tree. That's how it is here in the United States. I'm like, why? Why are you buying all of these? They, it doesn't make sense. I'm like, oh, that's true. So I remember Christmas we're time, we'd get like clothes. I would hurry up and put it on. I'm like, we're going out that night. And, Everybody was in brand new clothes Christmas night. Uh -huh. And we all going to go party, go to movies, whatever. And everybody was just happy. There was yeah. nothing. I never, ever needed for anything. I would have one pair of shoes for school every year. Uh -huh. But that was normal for me. Yeah. So, so when people hear, like, your kids, you get two, three pairs of shoes every time you start new school. Yeah. I'm like... Why? My exactly. son gets two, three pairs of shoes. He wears the same shoes every single time, and he has three pairs. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't wear all three. Yeah, I get it. it but it's just different, Unless man. you got a gang of kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we definitely... Uh, we well, I got to take my kids to Jamaica, clearly for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna be mad as hell. Oh, yeah. One gift, but you get eight plantains. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's way better to shoot. It tastes better. <laughs> man, but yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.